Hey, Grimmer here, and for this episode of Supreme Saturdays, I'm going to be running a double Dragon Fist team. One from the Wrath of the Dragon movie and the other from Dragon Ball GT. Obviously, this team kind of sucks in the current meta, especially now with my PvP placement being a lot higher. I'm at risk of losing a lot, so I'm obviously bringing Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta in this kind of like Saiyan setup, I guess. That's probably the most accurate way to describe this. It's probably not the best setup for either of these characters, mainly because I don't have Super Saiyan 3 Goku's, uh, not main equipment, sorry, unique equipment, which I think plays a pretty big part in the character's performance. So there's that. And on top of that, obviously Super Saiyan 4 Goku isn't the most meta character in the world, so he's going to be put at a pretty big disadvantage against the more meta characters in the current game, especially now with Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks being a featured character. But I guess we'll see how well this team can perform, and if we lose all three matches, then I guess that's really a testament to the quality and strengths of these characters in the current meta. I don't want to waste too much of your time, let's just jump into the first fight. Alright, first match actually seems really plausible up against a GT team with two Omega Shenrons and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. The main purpose of Super Saiyan 4 Goku on this team is probably going to be for the cover rescue, and I think that's gonna, that's gonna play a pretty big role, but that may actually get a bit hindered, because nowadays cover null is just such a prominent thing, and it's just almost always active, so it'll be hard to kind of play around it, but we can make it work, I think. Start off with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, my opponent starts off with Ultra Omega Shenron, which is an interesting choice. I'm gonna go with the special move right away here, just to get our gauge back. That's probably gonna be the most valuable thing for us. I think I'm gonna switch into Super Saiyan 4 Goku for this one. Just to make sure that we have our gauge as leverage here. So, oh, never mind. Super Saiyan 4 Goku actually doing a really good job of tanking the hits from Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. You have to remember that this is probably one of the best Ultras in the game, especially in terms of offense. And Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is, uh, sorry, Super Saiyan 4 Goku is actually doing a pretty insane job of taking the hits. Switching over to Super Saiyan 3 Goku here just to make sure that Super Saiyan 4 Goku doesn't get obliterated. And once again, these characters are tanking like pretty well, surprisingly. Super Saiyan 3 Goku doing an insane amount of damage. This is post Zenkai. So obviously there's that extra power buff. And by the looks of it, my opponent's equipment doesn't seem to be too strong. Considering how well we've been able to do damage, just fairly easily. Okay, uh, dang. Super Saiyan 4 Go Gogeta is actually taking a lot of damage here. I'm considering, yeah, we should go for the save here. That's probably, like, that's where the, the real value of the character comes in. I'm gonna switch using the green card. And because I don't want to go up against the Mika Shenron here, that's a pretty bad matchup. I'm gonna go into the special move here. Damn. I am perfect vanish. Dang. That's rough on us. Super Saiyan 4 Goku once again doing a pretty solid job of tanking, but taking just a lot of damage, man. That cover null is just always active, so annoying. So obviously my opponent isn't continuing the combo there. Nice. I think we should go for the ult. That's probably the safest decision that we can make. Obviously, Super Saiyan 4. Uh, sorry, not Super Saiyan 4. Um, Omega Shenron. Green Omega Shenron obviously has an, uh, an indestructible effect, so it would probably get in the way of the ultimate, but thankfully it landed. Awesome, we managed to get rid of Omega. Damn. That nullification is annoying, dude. Okay. Wow. Damn, no. That's so annoying. That's so annoying. Oh, uh, okay, no, we managed to save him in time. That's fine, then. Because I feel like... Because obviously he would have died from that. Super Saiyan 4 Goku would not have survived that. Let's be real here. Nice, right, get the PV. I think I'm gonna go... I'm just gonna go like with a regular combo here. Wait, wait just for a moment. Ah, dang, I... Oh, he just swiped. I thought, I thought that was a... I thought that was a... Dang, I thought... He just... He just floated. It wasn't an actual swipe. It wasn't an actual step for a vanish, which is really annoying. And he goes for the rush as well. Okay, so we're at a pretty massive disadvantage here. I'm gonna go with a blast here. It's... I don't know. Now that he's popped the green, it could be a blue, actually. I'm hoping... Oh, let's go. That's solid. That's amazing. That's huge for us. Boom. I think I'm gonna go with Super Saiyan 3 Goku here. 
just to make sure that if he dies, at the very least, like, we, we won't really miss out on much. Got it. I'm gonna go into Super Saiyan 3 Goku here. And I think I'm just gonna pop the counter. Ooh! You don't need to pop the counter. Okay, no, we do pop the counter. <laughs> Never mind. I think the best play would be to just use the special move right off the bat. And we land it. Let's go. Let's see how much damage we do. Damn! Goku going insane. We could land the LF, actually, now that I think about it. Never mind. <laughs> that We got shut down quick. Okay, that, let's actually play a bit more seriously here. We can do that with Super Saiyan for Gogeta, get the special move out, and we still have our Rising Rush on hand, so we do have a lot of leverage here. Let's just make sure that we don't fumble the bag, because it'll, pretty be, it'll be a pretty huge misstep there if we do. Thankfully, we secured the win for the first match, surprisingly, wow. Definitely impressed with the overall performance of Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta there, or not, not with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, with both of the Dragon Fist characters actually, so... Overall, I'd say they did a pretty solid job, but I wish I saw more from Dragon Fist Go- sorry, from Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So hopefully we get to see more from him in the second match. Alright, second match, up against more Omega Shenrons. This time with Shin Shenron instead of Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. There's some people playing with fireworks outside, so if you ever- if you hear like strange noises in the audio, you'll know why. I'm gonna open with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, I feel more confident that way. Obviously, I think Omega Shenron, like both of them, both the LF and Ultra version, are really, really strong. The fireworks are going insane, so just bear with me here. I reckon I should just keep recording and just have it like a natural thing. Like, let's let's pretend that the fight gets so intense that my the things around my house just start breaking. I think that's a fun way of imagining things. But yeah, bringing Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is probably the, the most interesting thematic move I could make. Uh, that was probably the best move I could do as well. I'm gonna go with the green card here just to lock in this Omega Shen. Never mind. Okay. Now, I think the best move would probably be to go into Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Just to make sure that we can build up that unique gauge because last, last match we barely got to half. So, again, I think having that unique equipment makes a pretty big difference because it gives you unique gauge charge rate just as like a stat, which is really strong. And so I think that would actually impact the character in a pretty big way overall. Going into Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and as you can see, the damage is actually really impressive thus far. It's not that much, right? Like, you compare it to other characters in the meta, especially characters like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and even the Omega Shenrons that we're dealing with right now. And obviously, there's a pretty big drop-off. But one thing to note is that Super Saiyan 4 Goku is really, really old. So the fact that he can perform the way he does is just, like, impressive beyond, like, any, any measure of the imagination, you know? That key reduction is really annoying. Damn. I'm gonna go with like a raw strike there. Ah, oh, damn PV, that's so annoying. At the very least, Omega Shenron, Ultra Omega Shenron, the free to play one, doesn't actually have like a very accessible cover null. So I can actually pop like uh, various cover changes fairly easily against him. And this Sin Shenron, same thing goes with him, but defensively he's really strong by the looks of it. Haven't gone up, go, gone up against him too often, so. This is, like, a pretty rare occurrence. I, I haven't, like, fought this Omega Shenron very often. So I'm... I, I am, like, really inexperienced in dealing with this guy, so... Bear with me. Having a character like Super Saiyan 3 Goku with consistent cover null is really strong. I, I definitely enjoy it, especially against opponents who have, like, a really easy time switching, like the, uh... Sin Shenron, Omega Shenron trio that we're dealing with right now here. I think the best strategy to play here would be to swipe, would be to dodge, pop this, and then go for the ult. Just off rip. I think that's probably the safest move. Obviously, the buff cancel on on like ults that we experienced just now, like from from like the first match, is obviously going to get really annoying because it makes it this it makes his survivability increase like exponentially, basically. Damn, and he pops pops the cover change as well there. Really annoying. Ah, uh, and we don't have Blast Armor either. That's a joke. That's that's an actual joke. Do we have Cover Null? Well, we, we, the opponent doesn't have Cover Null, so we managed to survive the Rising Rush. That was huge. Uh, that's a shame. Um, let's see what, what my opponent does next here. I think we need to sack off Super Saiyan 4 Goku, unfortunately. This That, that was a pretty sick ult, ult animation, I have to say. Wow. Then we got wrecked. Obviously, the endurance on 
Omega Shenron is really annoying here, and it's definitely proving to be difficult to get over. It's obviously going to switch it to Sin Shenron, most likely. No? Okay, that's weird. That's weird. Uh, losing Super Saiyan 4 Goku was huge, man. Like, whew. It's a shame, because we've already gotten um, Super Saiyan 3 Goku's unique gauge built up, and now we can't actually make the most out of it. In terms of tanking, wow. Like, Sin, Shen Sin Shenron is actually doing, like, a pretty significant amount of damage. We may lose this fight. It really depends on. I don't know what well, I don't know what it depends on. Honestly, man. I think I'm gonna go with that. Uh, nine five one. Okay, that's enough. Thankfully, I think we can pop the uh, special move right now, and we can get the indestructible out of the way there. Hopefully, this this rising rush isn't like it doesn't remain active. Fuck, it remains active. That's so annoying. What the hell? Oh, that's so dumb. I wish there was a way to cancel that. I, I pressed that on accident. I didn't mean to. I was trying to, like, get rid of it. But obviously it didn't work out for me. Maybe just to dodge in time there. I'm just going to do that. Yeah. Safest play there. I'm going to go with the green there. Just for the extra... For the extra cards that will give me vanish when I pop the special move. Definitely planned there. It wasn't spontaneous at all. Damn, that was a solid counter step there. Ooh. That's so annoying. I think this is our last counter, I believe. Yeah. At least we are type neutral. Thanks to Gogeta being the last man standing. But with no counters, we obviously don't stand a chance. That's that's a real shame. We came pretty close to winning there, I think. It's just that the opponent had like a lot of utility effects. That really ended up like supporting them in a big way. Because I couldn't really withstand and sustain a lot of the hits that came in my way. Missed the Rising Rush as well, so yeah. Unfortunately, this second match is not going to be a win for us. But I guess we'll move on to the third and final match of the video. To see just what kind of comeback we can make with the Dragon Fist duo. Plus, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, obviously. Alright, third and final match up against my team. The team that I usually run for most PvP matches. And this Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is just insanely jacked, so... It's going to be a scary fight, but... We do have a bit of type advantage there against both uh, both of the fusion, not both of the fusions, for both Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta as well as a Vegito. So hopefully we can make the most out of that. I'm really hoping that Super Saiyan 3 Goku can show off here. Also hoping that Super Saiyan 4 Goku doesn't get completely wiped off the board because I think his utility can really provide for the team. My opponent opens with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, which is a bit annoying and makes things a lot scarier. But I do open with Super Saiyan 3 Goku, so have the type advantage. Tanking a decent amount, but not, not by that much, I guess. It's, it's average tanking, I suppose. I think I'm going to switch into Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Hopefully my opponent doesn't drop the combo. Yeah, so that we can actually pop the cover change there. And go with a tap blast just to bait out a vanish. Because that's really what I'm aiming for here. Obviously, my opponent's going to rush um, Vegito by the looks of it. They're going to make sure that they get Vegito out as soon as possible. So that then they can fast track a Rising Rush to instant kill. That's obviously a really good strategy. Especially against teams that are a lot more defensive. That's not really my team, in my personal opinion. I don't really think that my team is all that, all that. Like, it's not that defensive. I'm going to pop the first counter here. Ooh, okay. I should have actually gone for a blast there. That was my mistake. My opponent goes for a special move, I'm going to get pissed. That was instinctive, that was instinctive. That was my bad, too. Um, let's see. I wish, I wish, I wish this guy went for a strike. Because we, we would have been able to pop the cover change again, which would have been really good. Unfortunately, that didn't happen, so that's a real shame. Hey, at least we have the counter at our full disposal here, and now we can actually pop the enemy's counter, which helps. I'm obviously gonna wait here, I'm not gonna... Mid-range strike? Ah, what the hell, I thought that was a mid-range. Did I not see that correctly? That was really annoying, I think my timing was off. Oh, do we lose Super Saiyan 4 Goku again? Oh, yeah, yeah, we do, yeah, we do. I don't think... Oh, wow, he actually dies from the... Wow, he dies from the type neutral strike, not the ultimate. That's a shame. That's actually really embarrassing, wow. 
I'm gonna go for the blast here just to make sure that we pop the counter a second time. Hopefully we can exhaust these counters in time for us to uh, get rid of the both of the fusions as well. I want to make sure that I don't fully exhaust my resources here. Thankfully we don't get hit by the ultimate there. Huge lifesaver, hopefully this ultimate can land and get rid of someone. It's gonna- I think- I hope this actually kills Gogeta. Because- uh, no, the- is Gogeta blue, I mean. Because this is a type neutral ultimate here. Obviously my opponent still has Super Vegito, so a Rising Rush would be absolutely detrimental. I'm obviously- I'm gonna go for the Rush here. Go for the Strike right away. There we go. So that we can instant punish. Go for this. Cover- cover- cover change Elephite there, thank god. Um, do we pop the counter? I think we should. I think we should, just to get rid of it. Because I do have faith in Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta being the last man standing. But I don't really have like any faith in Super Saiyan 3 Goku being the last man standing. I definitely think he needs to work with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta if we're ever going to see anything come out of him. At least we popped all three counters, so it'll be easier for us to do like punishes and what have you. And basically the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta that my opponent has loses a large portion of the utility that he once did have. So that helps. See what happens here. Okay, so we land the blast, but we have no cards to follow it up with, which is really annoying. We overtapped, that's really annoying as well. Let's see if we can... Oh, look at the lag here, that's... Oh, that's embarrassing. My opponent's probably gonna go for the rush, so I do think that we're losing Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Which is a shame, because we haven't actually popped the, uh, the ultimate with him just yet. But yeah, I, um, this this obviously kind of sucks. I mean, for now, Super Super Vegito is type neutral. This oh wow, this connection is annoying. Don't you just hate it when this happens? I mean, hopefully my opponent actually disconnects. Like that, that's like the best case scenario to come out of this. That's the thing that I'm really hoping for is to just like for my opponent to just not continue fighting, <laughs> because that's the best bet that we have of winning this fight. Obviously not the best thing to put our all of your marbles on, but yeah, that's, that's the only hope we really have here. We still have a counter with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, so that helps, but the tables are obviously not in our, stacked in our favor here. The tables in our favor? No, the, the cards aren't exactly stacked in our favor, so hopefully we can, we can make the most of it. Wow, we're doing pretty well thus far, but my opponent pops the special cover change into the special move, obviously. Will this kill Go- oh wow, this actually kills Goji. That was, that was a mistake, that was a huge mistake. I wasn't expecting it to kill, honestly. Come on, there we go, there we go. That's huge, that's huge. That actually saved us a lot of trouble. This all should kill one of them. At least. And we get a Super Vegito out of the way there. So, eh, this this fight's getting really, really close. I can only hope and pray. I can only hope and pray. Do we... Does this kill? I don't think it does. No way! What? What? Wait, that's actually kind of crazy. This is... Well, that was insane. Yo, that was sick. What a way to end the video, hey. Last match against Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Super Saiyan 3 Goku actually comes in clutch. We need to drop him a message. Let's see if we can find a Super Saiyan 3 Goku message. I don't know if one exists. That was fun. See ya. That was amazing. And like, far beyond my, my initial expectation. Wow, that's insane. So yeah, overall I'd say Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta really carried the team here. But in terms of general performance, I think... Super Saiyan 3 Goku did an insane job, and hey, I really underestimated him in this video. I, I said that, oh, you know, there's no way this guy's gonna be the last man standing, he doesn't stand a chance. Boom. Kills Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta like that. Manages to completely, well, I wouldn't say completely, but I guess really secure the victory for us there in the last match there. And unfortunately, I don't think Super Saiyan 4 Goku really got to show off his stuff, even though his cover rescue did help bolster a bit of the damage that was incoming but it really didn't play the, the, the kind of role that I was hoping for. But dang, this team did way better than I thought it would. I thought we would have like back-to-back -back losses, but dang, they really outdone themselves with this one. I think I did a pretty good job playing, and 
Obviously, if I played better, I may have actually been able to win that second match as well, or win the first and third match with a bit more style, I guess. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Did you enjoy this video? If you did, make sure to leave a like, and if you didn't, make sure to leave a dislike. Leave all of your thoughts in the comment section down below, like I said just now. Any kind of criticisms or any additional points that you'd like to bring up about these characters, feel free to do so. I'm more than happy to respond. Also, make sure to subscribe for, you know, when I do drop a video just to make sure that you're notified. And yeah, I think that's going to do it for this video. Bye. Thanks for watching.